my hair is like yanking my face off. We're done, Aiden's hair. What are y'all doing? We done, Aiden's hair. You really can't. You see. need to brush your hair. You actually look like you're gray headed. I told you. <laughs> look at Sarah's hair. We done her hair earlier. Your hair does look a little bluish. It's a lot. Aiden, you it look good. like a Smurf, but you look like you're Paw Paw. Look at his. Hey. Look up there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you better find a different hairstylist. Starly! No, no, no. All of us. Why is my hand blue? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't touch my hair. Hmm. Eliza, you look like the Smurf. Well, how oh, cool. I keep it in the oh, yeah, no, it's good. It's kind of. good. Like, you need a... Harley, is this how you sleep every night? Basically. You yeah. should be a little embarrassed. <laughs> I don't care. Daddy, it's only like time of packages. Cool. Oh, it's good. I look so beautiful. No. Well, there's the blue haired man. Y'all did girl. it. girl. And girl, yeah. So if y'all didn't notice, they're a little crazy. I'm going to take y'all along with me today if I can find my shoes, that is. To do a couple of the things that have to be done every day. But before I do, I want to show y'all what happened. What are you doing, Jennings? Who did that? Yeah, fun times. So y'all saw us start our seeds. We actually have, this is some of the arugula from Survival Garden Seeds. So we have some starting to sprout, as you see. There are a couple over here. Looks like mostly our lettuces. This is also... That was real close. Some kale. I did. Usually we direct sow kale right out into the garden. We are still going to direct sow some. But I also wanted to plant some in seed starts. Because I want them in the beds up closer to me. So this has to be watered. We've got to go out to the greenhouse and water. I'm not going to have time to replant today. Because the kids have cross country practice this afternoon. So I'm doing things that have to be done right now. Which include watering. We also have to gather eggs. You guys are going to come with me. And I do And a little man down there. The mess that he made. His daddy is going to have to redo those this afternoon. I just don't have time to redo that. But while we're out and about, we are going to harvest some sweet potato leaves as well because the deer is getting them all. And I know if I don't go ahead and get some now, they are going to be eight. I have two dough. I got them on camera. I will show you pictures of them right now. But if I don't get those sweet potatoes now and get those washed and over in the freeze dryer i won't have any i have one jar of sweet potato leaves that i did last year that we're eating on now as i add into smoothies but those won't last that jar won't last long need to get those freeze dried in jars for next year One of the other things that I do in the afternoon is go around. I'm going to get eggs in a little while. I do check waters while I'm out and about. Although it's not as hot as it was, it is still pretty warm here. So we have to double check waters and make sure everything has water. like that they have fresh grass and water the seeds up here have been watered now we need to go water the back and go ahead and get our sweet potato leaves we're gonna drop those off inside then we are headed to gather the eggs from the those are my white jersey giants that you just saw but I also have American breast they are laying eggs and my backyard stock which is in the chicken barn we also have to go get the eggs from back there you have to do all of that before our afternoon activities so in between school and lunch time this is what i do and i want to show y'all what the does are doing to my sweet potatoes i actually do have them on my security cameras i knew that i was having does come back and i pulled up our footage and there's actually two I knew that the deer were coming back so it's two doe that are back here eating and look at that 
you can see a clear line where they're getting in they're eating all my sweet potato leaves so i'm gonna get what i can you can look over there they're eating the tops off of those as well thankfully i would be real real mad if they were hurting my sweet potatoes but actually they're not actually hurting my sweet potatoes it is just very frustrating because i put hair over here and i put red pepper flakes you can see that up, up here on the leaves and obviously it is not phasing them one bit they're still coming to eat all the sweet potato leaves with the red pepper flakes on there so there's really nothing i can do i've even thought about putting up a fence um colby is determined that they will jump the fence so i don't know i feel like it's a lose lose right now but like i said i'm not gonna fret too much because they're not actually hurting my sweet potatoes they're just eating the leaves off of them which is not hurting the potatoes under the ground but i want to get some of the leaves before they eat them all i'm gonna go water before i do that because again we've had very very little rain the one time that it did rain was not a lot so watering is just a daily thing. Y'all see what I was able to get. Now the vines, I will not keep. I will just get the leaves off of those and wash those, put those over in my freeze dryer. That will kick me off with a good start to putting up some sweet potato leaves for next year. But y'all see, I have a pretty good harvest. It will obviously be smaller than that by the time I get my leaves off and get them washed and put in the freeze dryer and grind that down into powder. You know, I do need to wash these well. Obviously, they've been on the ground. So that in itself is gonna take me about 30 or 45 minutes by the time I get all the leaves off, get them washed, get them spun out my, spa my salad spinner. Then I'm gonna put them over my freeze dryer, which I've already got started. So it's already began its stage of cooling down. But before I do all of this, I need to run and get the eggs out of the chicken coop. Send these on some, under some water, send them through the spinner. They go over on our trays. Then we're gonna put our trays in the freeze dryer. Four trays loaded in the freeze dryer. So I'm excited about that. Even though it was pretty warm outside today, I those, got them off the vines, washed and in the freeze dryer. I will still have to grind those up. It will be a wonderful thing to add them to my stash right here where we can utilize those and different things like our smoothies for our health. It is so worth it and thankful to have the ability to do that and the means to do that, to store and put things up away. On a daily basis, we're usually getting something and put it up in one way, form or fashion. So you finally got out here to replant? I did, I did. It was one of those things where we were so happy to be ahead of the ball game. <laughs> things happen things happen yep so we lost all the seeds in that tray obviously little man doing his thing back there on the bike accidentally bumped the table and the whole tray spilled and we lost all the seeds in that tray so it's a double do we'll be doing it again but oh well you know sometimes just the way it is sometimes you just got to do what you got to do so those will be replanted and all of that will be up and in our raised beds before we know it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Y'all got to see a little glimpse in the day, some of the things that we get to do every day here on the farm. I hope y'all enjoyed it with me today. Happy homesteading, y'all.